Hello students, this is your English lesson. Today we are going to read a poem, My Playmate from Oxford Modern English 3. So we start our lesson. This is page number 49. First of all, words to know. A sorry sight. A sad thing to see. Playmate. A friend to play with. Puddle, a small pool of water. Tread, walk, put your foot on something. Now read the poem together. I often wonder how it is that on a rainy day a little boy just like myself comes out with me to play and we step in all the puddles when walking through the town but though i stand the right way up he is always upside down i have to tread upon his feet which is a sorry sight with my left foot on his left foot my right foot on his right I really wish he would talk to me. He seems so very kind. For when I look and smile at him, he does the same, I find. But I never hear him speaking. So surely he must be in some strange land, the other side just opposite to me. Students, in this poem, the poet has described the innocence of a child he tells us about a child that whenever he goes out for a play in a rainy day he sees his own reflection in water and he thinks that there is an other child who comes out with him to play he is very happy to see him and wishes to talk to him but he says that he never heard him speaking and thought he might be living in some strange land on the other side. Exercises A. Understanding the poem Answer the following questions. A. When does the playmate come to play? Answer. The playmate comes to play on a rainy day when there are puddles on the ground. B. Does the playmate come to play when it is not raining? Answer. No, the playmate only comes on a rainy day. C. In what position is the playmate at all times? Answer. The playmate is upside down at all times. D. What makes the boy feel sad? Answer. The boy feels sad when he has to tread upon his playmate's feet. This question is more difficult. Discuss it first. E. Why does the speaker think the playmate lives in an other land? Answer. The boy thinks the playmate lives in an other land because he never hears him speaking. Two, answer the questions about this line taken from the poem. I really wish he would talk to me. A. He who is talking about whom? Answer. The poet is talking about the playmate. The reflection. B. What reason does the speaker give for wishing this? Answer. Because the playmate looks so very kind and smiles back. B. Working with words. 1. What do you think the following are? A. Something which grows and has leaves and branches. A tree. B. Something made of leather which goes on the feet. Shoes, sandals, slippers, boots. 
C. Something to make clothes flat after washing them. An iron. D. Some people wear this on their nose or noses to help them see better. A pair of glasses. 2. What's the difference? A. Wonder. W O N D E R. Wonder. Surprise. Amazed. Wander. W A N D E R. Wander. To move from place to place without purpose. B. Sight. S I G H T. Sight. The ability to see. Sight. S I T E. Sight. Place. C. Puddles. P U D -D, D L E S. Puddles. Shallow pools of water. Puddles. P A D -D, D L E S. Puddles. Short oars. 2. These are common words for collections in English. Try to use them in sentences of your own. Arrangement of soldiers. Sentence. Arrangement of soldiers camped in the field before the battle. A flock of geese. Sentence. A flock of geese migrated to an other place during heavy snowfall. A swarm of bees. Sentence. A swarm of bees left the hive every day in search of nectar. A crowd of people. Sentence. A crowd of people was gathered on the place of accident. Fill in the following blanks with A, an or the. A. Do you know what an ostrich is? B. It's a very large bird. C. It lives in a country called Australia. D. In Australia, there is also an animal called the kangaroo. E. The kangaroo is the best jumper in the world. F. It can jump over a fence 10 feet high. Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.